Hey, good morning guys. I'm the Tech Prepper. Today is just going to be a quick cam radio video and I want to show you an experiment that uh, isn't working for me. Uh, it does work uh, in ham radio, but for me it's not exactly what um, I need. And I'm connecting my uh, Kenwood D710GA to APRS Droid. And specifically, uh, my goal for doing that was to uh, be able to get the mapping functionality. Uh, the D710 does everything in my mind perfectly for APRS, for sending messages, uh, reporting out beacons, it's GPS integration, uh, acting as a digipeter, and that's why I purchased that rig. But uh, it would be nice to have mapping functionality. So in this video, I'll show you basically how I quickly connected uh, my Android phone with the APRS Droid software to the Kenwood so I could get mapping functionality. And uh, this isn't the setup I'm going with, but um, I just want to show you guys that may have them that it is possible. All right, guys, so here's the Kenwood D710, and here's a shot of the head unit. And the way that you connect this cable to our smartphone is through the programming cable. And this is the Kenwood PG5G, and it is a serial cable. And uh, I guess one of my first complaints here is why Kenwood is still using uh, serial connections uh, when USB has long supplanted it as the industry standard. Um, there is an aftermarket cable you can buy that goes from the head unit um, to USB, uh, but I did not have that um, in my collection. So I just went with what I had already. The uh, next piece or the next cable I needed was a serial to USB uh, connector. And I'll put a link below on where I got this one. And it works pretty good. Um, it's not the, the highest quality cable, but it does work for what I need to do. And then the third cable that I needed was a uh, female USB adapter to male micro USB so I could connect it to uh, the Android phone here. And uh, what's nice about APRS Droid is it supports uh, USB, at least uh, today in 2020. And uh, here's a shot of APRS Droid uh, basically bringing up the map and showing uh, all of the stations nearby. So I'm really happy with this. Um, if I were to leave this connected this way, the only thing that um, I would use the phone for is just for mapping. I would still use all of the other functions directly on the radio for sending and receiving messages and uh, those types of activities. So really simple video, guys. So I just want to let you know that it is possible if you have a Kenwood D710 to connect it to your Android device. Uh, one other thing to mention, if I decided to use this as my permanent setup, I would probably get the APRS Droid app from the developer website. I am currently paying and supporting him with a few bucks on the store, but on his site, he actually has the option to get a version with offline maps. Uh, so that would be really critical for me, especially in the area that I'm in. Um, tomorrow's video, or I think in a couple days, I'm actually going to hook up the same Kenwood D710, but to a 15-year-old Garmin GPS. It's the new V350, and I'll explain why I made that decision in that next video. All right, guys, I really want to appreciate all the support on the channel. Um, I do read every comment. I respond to every comment. So uh, feel free to go crazy in that section down there. All right. Happy Sunday. I'm the tech prepper. Be strong, be safe, and uh, be prepared. All right, guys, so let's take a quick look at the APRS Joy preferences when you want to pair it with the Kenwood D710. The instructions are a little bit different uh, compared to anybody who has experience with the MobiLink TNC. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is go to Connection Preferences. And under Connection Protocol, you'll notice that we have Kenwood NMEA Waypoint uh, configured. So that's the first thing. The other option you want to set is the connection type. Uh, for the MobiLink TNC, you're typically using the Bluetooth uh, SPP. For this one, you're going to want to use USB serial, and that's because we're connecting the uh, Kenwood D710 via the micro USB port. And then for me, uh, 
the baud rate had to be set to 9600. And um, that's pretty much it in terms of the APRS connection settings. And then for the SSID, uh, what I'm doing is setting it to the same SSID that I have configured for my Kenwood radio, which is KT1RUN-4, which is mobile, and I've set it here as well. And uh, really, there isn't anything else to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this quick demonstration.